Hi everybody, today we're gonna to be working on building a pattern for our sketchbook cover. Um, one thing I, that I just wanna point out is if you look at this pattern that I've already started, the corner shapes are coming together. Um, so when you print them side by side, you get this semi-circle that's starting to come together. And when you print the second row, it's coming into this circle shape. So that's just a seed that I wanna plant. Um, also, these are almost like a plus sign, the gray shapes and they're starting to connect moving across. And there you'll see those go up and down and you'll see those go side by side. So those are gonna also develop a pattern. Something to think about while we're talking about this. All right, so I wanna show you how to get to this point right here. I have this foam print. I'm gonna set this aside a little bit. And I'm gonna put, this is our next um, foam print here. And um, a couple of things, when you get your sketchbook cover, to start doing your lesson, you're gonna to wanna to have three thumbnail sketches. So I'm gonna do this one, two, three. So you see I already had three thumbnail sketches over here. This one I worked with line, this one I worked with shape, and this one I also worked with shape. So I could do something else if I wanted to think about um, the corners or if I wanted, maybe I'll think about the sides on this one. So on this one I'm gonna put a triangle triangle, triangle, and then another triangle. So these four triangles create a really cool X. So this, that might just be really cool in, in and of itself. Now down here, um, let me see, I might wanna think about lines. I mean, you could do something as simple as create a rainbow shape that uses different colors. Like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Geez, that's as many colors as I would wanna use in this because we end up printing them um, 12 times, three across, four down. So that's 12 in total. Okay, so let's look at this one. So that one I did lines and I created a rainbow. This one I had shapes um, and maybe this one will be a combination of the both. Okay, so there's a shape. Maybe out of the shape come these lines that go to the corner. Cool, so I have one, two, three, four, five right then. So maybe I'll add a shape in the middle, so then six. So this could be really cool if you really thought about color, like maybe these two could match and these two could match. You could see how that would print out going across. All right, so let's go back to this original design and I'm gonna show you how to get it on a piece of foam. Um, one trick that I use, I wanted my corners to line up, so I just really kept it simple. These are all three inches long, all these squares. So I did one inch in from each corner. So I lined up the four inches there and there's five, I lined up the seven, there's six. So I'm just doing one inch off of every corner. You know, I'm gonna turn this, let's see. Okay, and then one more. And then that's it. So now when I go to draw the, the circles, or the quarter of a circle, it's like a, it's like a pie shape. I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna have to worry, they're all gonna match up. And then here was my inside shape. You can also draw it like this and then add on the sides. All right, so now what you need is a groove um, where your lines are. So I'm gonna take a ballpoint pen and I'm gonna go over each and every line that I have. And again, keeping your design simple, is also important at this point too. So if you'll notice, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I'm going over every line three times. I'm pressing firm, but I'm not trying to press all the way through the foam. I'm trying to create a nice groove from end to end. Okay, so now we're ready to get the markers out when you go to color. I'm gonna go to back to this one. I always do a practice print on this page somewhere else. When you go to color, you wanna choose your color palette before you begin. So you'll see I did that right here. I started with one color, and then I tried a couple more colors with it. On this one, I think I'll try, um, oh, I've done all the color combinations, so I'll just show you, this is the one I chose. All right, so you try a few different color palettes and then you just think about where all your colors settle. Um, it could have been the orange circles, 
could have been blue here and then gray in the center. So I settled in on where I wanted all of my colors. And I'm gonna color in this one because the first one tends to be a little bit lighter when you print. So one of the keys to this lesson is we have new, nice new markers. So there's a lot of ink going down. And we're gonna be stamping. When you stamp, you're gonna notice that um, you'll see some of your marks that you make with the marker. You're also gonna notice that they're not like fully colored in like if you were to color it. So embrace some of those marks that you see with the stamping and know that that's okay. That orange went on really nicely. So all I have left is the gray. And after I finish coloring this gray in, oh, by the way, I'm using the side of my marker. I'm not coloring back and forth like that. It doesn't seem to um, lay down as nicely. The ink doesn't go down as nicely. So I'm using the side of my marker. Okay. All right. Now for printing, we're gonna bring in this paper. And I also have um, another paper underneath to protect the table. That's really important if you're printing on the side, so it's okay if you get a little bit of print on this paper underneath. But you don't wanna get on the work surface to so bother to clean it up. So here I put an arrow. This side is always gonna be up and the arrow helps me. I'm also gonna just take, this is just a little bit of a damp cloth. And that's just gonna help the paper accept as much ink as it can. I'm standing up now. When you stand up, it's easier to press all the corners. It's easier to press the center and the sides. All right, there it is, there's a stamp. So again, the three across, and you're gonna have four rows of three across. Don't forget that just a little bit of water. You don't want any puddle or glistening shape just to dampen the paper just a little bit. That's gonna help your ink get onto the surface. I can't wait to see what patterns that you come up with today. Have fun.